Hey folks, it's Ridgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here in Boulder Canyon. I am just going to get the hired help to finish off this little corner down here. I figured if I just start from the other side, from the um, actual other little corner here, it'll do out that little bit without any problem, and then this one could be parked up and or possibly actually get going with the sowing of seed in a little while. Uh, once we get going with our cultivating. So I'm going to leave that one going right there. I just want to make sure that it gets through that tiny little bit without issue. It seems to have coped with that bit. Will it cope with the next bit? You know, I don't know. It doesn't really matter. We want to go to this one. And we want to start this one working. So we've got it unfolded. We had it all ready at the end of the last episode. I want to bring it down here. And I want to sort of line it up in the field here. Where's lined up? That's the big question. That's kind of lined up there. So I'm actually going to need to bring it down over here. So that I can have it lined up with the edge. So it's going in a straight line for it. That's that's the straight line right there. So lower down here. I'm going to allow it to just work itself for a little bit and I'm not going to change anything on it. I'm not going to um, like help with the outside edges, at least not to start with. I'll let it just keep working through a little bit on its own and then once it's done some, actually that's not where I want it to be working at all. That's not in a straight line. That's The, the straight line is this way, what I was thinking. That's where the straight line is. I need to go that way, don't I? Right, let's try that again. We'll run you along this direction. That's better. That's where it's going to need to go, except that it doesn't want to go any further than that. Well, that's all right. Because what I'll do is I'll let it do a few passes, and then I will tidy up the bottom edge a little bit. And then once I've done the tidying up of the bottom edge, I can then go and get the seed drill and we can start working with that one. Except I was thinking that we could use the seed drill on the other Deutsch tractor. We're not going to be able to do that. That's not going to be an option. Right, let's leave you going there a second and we'll go back over to this one. Press H on there. He's literally about to go and start on bits that we don't want him to start on. So you're finished. I don't need to do any more with you. That rake is looking a little bit grubby, so I will put that one over so that it can be cleaned. I'm just going to park it up over here for a minute, and I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to, like, do anything to it just yet. We'll hose that one down a bit later. And what are you doing? I'm hoping you're going to turn around without doing anything too weird. Yes, you are You are turning around and you don't look like you're going to do anything spectacularly weird. You're a little bit odd, admittedly, but it's, um, it's within the realms of acceptable, I suppose. We can back up there and off you go again. Right, well, it's at least making a start. We may have to just help it out a little bit on the steeper parts of the hill just to straighten up and then like fill in the little bits that it will inevitably miss uh, but I'm hoping that there's not going to be too much of that that we'll need to worry about so anyway you, you carry on there and you do that in the meantime we can keep going with this and get a bit more of our straw picked up and that shouldn't take too long now like, we've actually done the bulk of the field. Right? We've, we've done a couple of passes around the outside edge, and we've done quite a bit along the middle now. Um, we've still got this very weird thing where it slows right down with no crop coming in, and that I just don't... I cannot understand why it does that, but um, it does, so that's just how it is. Um, but yeah, the bulk of the field is this bit over this side, so we've, we've pretty much done the bulk of the field. Once we've finish doing the whole field then this one is going to need lime spread onto it and then we can go straight into this one with the direct drill so we will need to i would say it's probably better to do the direct drilling with this tractor and the smaller tractor would be better off with the seed drill that we've got the the planter as a, it's a planter rather than the seed drill isn't it um we'll just have to put the front links on it so that we can we we'll change it over, remove the uh, ability to have the 
because you can't have the front links and and the the loader arm the loader arm it, it won't allow the loader arm on at the same time as front links so we'll have to take that bit off and we'll put the front links on so that it can take that front tank for the seed and then that one can carry on and do whatever it needs to do in those fields uh, that well that field up there and it will go and plant all of the corn up there for us which will be absolutely wonderful and then this one over here once the lime has been put on here we'll then be able to go through actually this field in here we're gonna want not only lime but i mean we could put a round of fertilizer on as well so we could go over and lime the field then fertilize the field then go over it with the seed drill so that we can plant it and then after that we can go and put another round of fertilizer on um there shouldn't be any reason that we can't do all of that. Get the get the whole process done. Because two coats of fertilizer is everything finished then, isn't it? And then we've only got to worry about the weeds. And we've only got to worry about the weeds either if they come up through during the first stage. In which case we can get our little team of uh, rakes going up and down the field. They didn't take all that long to finish the job, did they? They, they seemed to do a pretty reasonable job of it as well. And then if that doesn't really work out very well, we can always get the herbicide sprayer and we can do some herbicide instead. Uh, I did ask if maybe you wanted like me to sort of finish up this series with organic, I think. Or was I talking? No, I think I was talking about actually organic in different series. But um, I get a bit confused that they do sometimes tend to blend together a little bit. Um we're not going to worry about doing anything organic on this one organic we are looking at doing 100 percent organic in the next series so we won't be buying fertilizer there is a fertilizer plant that we can get uh have been told that actually organic fertilizer and regular fertilizer is about the same price but i'm kind of thinking that we could just wait and we could buy the fertilizer plant now i haven't actually got it enabled on this series so i can't go and show you but uh, if you've been following along with the time lapse series i've got the organic fertilizer factory well i haven't got it yet it costs uh i think five hundred thousand to go and buy and build which is not cheap um but it is there and so i was i was kind of thinking that we could use that one in the next series to make organic fertilizer rather than buying any fertilizer at all and i, I think that might be a good way of like running the whole show and sort of doing all doing anything organic on there anyway I, I thought that could be a nice and interesting take on it like we don't use any for we don't buy any fertilizer until we're able to buy the organic fertilizer factory and then that is where we get our organic fertilizer from um i i mean, I, I, I don't know it's a, we, we'll worry about that when the time comes so we We'll be starting off the next series working as a um, contractor. So uh, everything that we do will be contract jobs and we'll be working up and building up to our own machinery and then eventually we'll be getting some of our own land. So to start with, it's not really going to matter what we're doing, whether we're doing it organically or otherwise, because it's going to make zero difference to the performance of anything, really. It, it, it's really not going to make any difference to anything at all. Um, I'm going to come around here and gather up that little bit right there. And then I'm going to go back down here and get these two patches down this side. And then once I've done those two patches, we've just got the other little bits down across the rest, like in, in the corner. That's all we've got left. Right here, this is a really, really spindly sort of little row all the way down through here there's hardly anything on this it should definitely be going faster than 14k for this it should be going 16 to 18k for that bit but it's not and i wonder if it's because it's straw i wonder if it won't go any faster on straw like it'll go faster with hay but straw it's limited and i mean i don't i i can't think why it would do that i i can think of no fathomable reason why it would slow down only for straw and not for hay i have absolutely no idea so uh, on that front uh, i'm just a little bit confused let's go to you and see how you're doing you are going right up to the end of the field 
We've got a bit missing at the bottom side there. So I'm going to let this one run all the way back over. And then I think we might manually just tidy up a little bit around the edges of this lower part. So that we can start getting ready. Not you. No, I don't want you. I want this one. Unhitch that. And I'll take this one round. And we'll change over and we'll get the front links put onto this one. And then I'm hoping that this one can run the planter. I think it can. I don't see any reason why it can't. Right, we'll repair it to start with. There we go. And then I will customize in here. So we want to go to configuration. No. Wait. Oh, this. No, configuration there. Standard. Ah, there. That's what we're looking at. 760 front weight. 1,000 front weight. Front hydraulic. That's what I want right there, is I want front hydraulic. And then wheels, standards, or wides. Oh, we're going to use wides on this one. Customize, like that, yes. Right, so we've got wide wheels, and we've got front hydraulic on there as well. And then we'll take this one over. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, I need to go... Wait, why have you gone out of line with the rest of them? Let's stop you a second. And we come down here. Actually, I'm not going to go down there yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to the stone and I'm going to do a run down through first. I'm going to go to the top edge of where the stone is, which is just up here. And I'm going to do a run all the way down the hill. Because there's a couple little bits right on the very edge of the hill that are missing. It's not a great deal, but it's enough to do something there. And see, there's a little couple of spots just further down the hill. So I'll run all the way down the side down here like this. There, just to make sure that we have indeed got every single little bit of the field all the way down through. Like that. See, there's a little bit there. And it looked like there may have been another little bit there that I could possibly have missed earlier. And then we'll go over here, where there's an extra bit, and you out like that, and then back up through here like this, and get that bit out, like that, and now I can go up this way. Drop that down, and up against this fence right here. It's actually a double width on here. Like, that, if I was to go up there, that there is it goes a little bit wider than just the fence. So I'm going to go to there, like that. I'm going to press H on that one, and I'm going to let that go. And let that just work itself across the field and then I should have just like one little bit that will be easy enough for me to put right right at the very finish in a minute. Well not at the very finish, you, you get the idea. We'll, we'll, we can come back to that and we can deal with that in a minute. Uh, then I want to go to you and actually I'll tell you what let's move this one on up this way a bit uh, it's I'm going to slow down to one time speed right now I was thinking no, I'm, I'm going to do it. I am going to do it. I'm going to go back to this one. I know I've already slowed down to one time speed, and technically we haven't started planting yet, but we're about to, and I'd like to start planting before nightfall. I want to get everything started this evening, so we've still got a few hours of daylight, so we should easily be able to get all of the planting done before nightfall. Uh, the baling, um, the lime, fertilizer, planting, all of it. It should all be able to be done before nightfall without any problems. So I want to bring you onto there and I want to leave you going. And then I want to go and get this one. And I want to go and hook up the seed drill over this side. So I want to get that bit on the back. And then we can turn around and we can get the tank onto the front. Back up there and put that one on, like that. Spin you around and then go and get that tank. And then we can go and just fill up. It shouldn't take too much to fill up. That tank is going to be a nice counterweight to this one. It's quite a heavy machine, actually. 
We've got a thousand litres of fertiliser in here. But that is quite heavy on there. There is there is a fair bit in that one. It's not too bad. Once With having the tank on the front as well, that's a lot better. But I did notice when we brought that one out of the shed, he definitely was quite light on the steering on that one, wasn't he? Okay, let's open that one up there and we can... Love the way that does work like that. Look at that. And then load up a bit more. Helper J has completed their task. We close that one back down again. And then we will go over this way. The back tank doesn't open up. Like, you would have thought that it would, like, unscrew that one, but it doesn't actually seem to do that. It doesn't seem to be an option. We've got corn already selected on here, so we don't need to go and change that. Back you up there. That goes... You have to push it right up against this tank. And there is our 600 litres of corn. So then we can bring you over this way. And that one is up against the fence over there. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I'm going to just finish doing out the little bit there at the bottom the field before I start doing this sowing here. I want to get to this one. Yeah, see, you've gone right up to the fence. Right up to that bit right there. And uh, I suppose that's not a bad thing as such. It's just... Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it'll be fine. I don't think that there's going to be any issues from that. Uh, let's lower you down here. And I think what we'll do is we'll get the seed drill, uh, the, the seed planter, that they, well, it's the seed drill, isn't it? And we'll start it from this other end of the field, so it's doing the long work. And then once it's sort of done out this lower end of the field, I might actually manually do one pass along this lower end of the field and then go back again and... You know, we, we can sort of just to make sure that we get started planting properly all the way up through. It's so like do it manually instead of um, letting the hired help start it off. But I need to just do this bit first. Now, I'll do this manually as well. We've only got to do this one pass up across here. And it'll be one pass back again. Then I can go rushing back down to the other end of the field. And I should be all right to keep going down there. I'm wondering about doing one pass down that end as well just to make sure you know i think we might do that we go and we will actually we'll do this right up to the other end i'll go right up to the top of the field and i'll do this pass all the way down through and then i've definitely sort of got this end of the field covered so it then should do a fairly neat and tidy job as we go through with all of the rest of the cultivating um and yeah that should be all right. That should do a nice, a nice, neat, tidy job all the way down through there. I am, um, I, I got to say, I'm quite impressed with what we've done. Without sort of blowing our own trumpet too much here, I, I am quite impressed with what we've done. Like we, we've a lot of land here that we've got uncovered. There's, there is a lot of, a lot of trees that have been felled. There's a lot of, a lot of work that has gone into creating these fields here. And I know that we haven't actually done anything with this field other than grass up until now. And we've done quite a few harvests of grass off of this field. It's going to be quite awesome seeing this field now, rather than just being grass. Yeah, it does look good as a grass field, but we've yet to see this field transformed into just golden waves of corn stretching out across the horizon. And I think that is going to look very cool. I think that is going to sort of really bring home just how much work we have done here, considering that it was just virgin forest when we first got here completely untouched by man and then we came along and we decimated all of the natural environment and now we're busy plowing it all up and, and using it to grow our crops which is progress ladies and gentlemen it's progress that's what we've got we've got progress right here i mean we we, we got to feed the world and we can't feed the world with a load of trees in the way so we've unfortunately had to remove them so there, I've, I've, I've expressed enough sorrow and, and contrition at uh, having removed all of the trees, so everybody should be happy, um, but yeah, we, 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 we needed to so that we could continue growing our crops. Let's bring you up. I have planted some trees. I, I'm not all bad. I'm not all, I'm not all just evil corporation 
growing massive amounts of food and, and going for profit, I planted a line of trees along the top edge of the field up there. Do you remember? See? Right over there, we've got poplars. We've got half-dead trees as well. I brought in some magnificent half-dead trees. And, and they're, they're doing really well now. They're, they're nearly still half-dead. They're fine. They're, they're absolutely fine. They're, they're, they're just being melodramatic, that's all. Uh, we'll bring you into there like that and let you carry on. Excellent. And you, you know what? I'm going to start you up before I do the planting. I'm going to start you up and I'm going to put you into there. I thought for a minute I'd actually started just a fraction too late. I haven't. I'm going to start you up and I am going to do at least one little bit of baling in here before we go off. Because, you know, I, I was hoping to actually finish the baling this week. But I don't know that we're going to have time to do this. But I will at least bale up a row right here. There's a couple of little spots of straw that have been left behind there. I don't think they're going to make any difference to anything whatsoever. But we'll go and grab them anyway. Look at this. Look at this. There. How's that for cleanliness? Tidying the house. That's what we're doing. We're tidying up. And then we can run up this way. And we can go in and get that big, long run all the way down there. Like that. Just weave in and out just right on that. And off we go. So we want to get all the way down to the other end of the field down there. That's the last of the really long runs in this field, and that will all be finished then. And then all we got is those little short runs, and we will end up coming back to those next week, because as soon as we've done this big long run here, and just nudge the baler over out of the way a bit, well, I don't know, well, I don't know what we're out of the way of. Um, it's not like we're doing anything in this field until we finish the baling. Um, we will go and get started on the planting. I want corn being planted in that field over there. Look at that. Un look, well, I was going to say unbroken ground. It's broken ground now. It's all cultivated. The grass is disappearing. We are going to have a golden crop filling that field. Down here, we're going to have canola. Up there, we've got the corn getting ready to be planted. And we're just finishing out this run right here. So we've only got a few little bits left. That's broken up the baling a bit. There. Bailing's a little bit slow, so we, we, we've broken it up a bit now. So let's just stop that one right there like that. And then we can go over to this tractor. Off we go. Right. I want to go to that one. And I want to unfold that one. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go up here. I'll let that one just turn around a minute. He's left a little tiny bit right there. He's left a little tiny dot. So we will go up just before that one. And we will start our planting line down here. Because this one is not a direct drill of any kind. So we'll have to come back and tidy that bit. So we will start from here. Lower down. And we will run our way down here like this. On this side. Uh, right down to there, and then I can pick that one up. And I'll manually go round the edge on this bit to start with. Like this. I'm going to do this right the way along the bottom edge. I'm going to follow this corner. This edge, rather. I'm going to follow it round. And then I can worry about sort of putting the hired help going in a bit when I get and, and there is a little tiny it, oh actually no there isn't I thought there was a little tiny stripe that had been left by the cultivator but it's not it's land above where the cultivator has just worked so it's not actually leaving any kind, kind of uh, tiny stripes behind or anything like that you seem to be struggling to stay a straight line going along here he's definitely struggling a bit on there he's that it, it's, it's having to pull quite hard to get that one to go doesn't like that I'm thinking that this might be a job for our bigger tractor I think this one here is definitely struggling a bit with this I'm not going to bother doing a, any pieces on the other end what I'll do is I'll bring this one over like this and I'll run it down here 
try and keep this in a, a straight-ish line down through there and press H along here and then I'll let the hired help do this so the hired help can sort of fight with it and fight to keep it going straight along here and if we zoom in a bit you can see that we've got some bits of extra fertilizer here and I don't know what that is I, I'm wondering if that's something to do with the lime oh is that to do with the lime no I know what that is where the grass grew a little bit, where it had grown, just one stage up there, you can see the triangle bit up there. When we cultivated that in, that automatically added another layer of fertilizer into the field. And that's what's happened here. That's why we've got some patches with fertilizer and some without. This is where the grass had previously grown on here. You can see that triangle across there. Um, and so that's why we've got patches here. Some that are being fertilized and some that have no fertilizer on them at all so you will travel all the way up here like that and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop the hired help on that bit and I'm gonna reverse back up across the field again it's pretty slow going backwards this one is probably be a bit faster than that oh it's too late to turn around now we're already committed um, I'll set this one going again from this end Get it roughly right, and then we can watch that one get down. It should now travel down to the other end of the field. At least that's what I was hoping. Uh, take you to that point right there. Just met everything on there. It is overlapping a little bit here. I don't know if he's going to go all the way. To, I don't think he is actually going to go all the way to the other end of the field. He's going to go most of the way, but he's not going to quite get all the way down through there. And it's not just because of this little bit of overlap. Uh, it could have gone up a bit more, but it, it sort of turned a bit funny down that end. I don't know why it did that, but it did, so that's, that's how it is. Um, but all we need to do is wait for this one to just reach as far as he's going to go down here. And then I can put it going on the little short runs down the bottom. And that should be everything it is, that it's going to do. You're going on just a little tiny bit further there, aren't you? I know where you're going to stop. and stop. Uh, oh, I thought he was going to stop there, but no, he's not. Right. You're going to stop there. And so we need to be about halfway across on the line up here in order to meet everything up perfectly right the way across the field. So I'm going to bring you down to here. Set the hired help going see how you get on with that and then I'm going to go to another tractor over here this is you up on this side you're all the way across the field I'm gonna now we'll go over to the stone and I'll see where he's gonna turn round and I will just sort of run down the hill a little bit and get that bit that he's missed and he's left behind because then we've got this entire side of the hill is able to go and be planted by the hired help down there and nothing else needs to nothing else will interfere with it like, there's not going to be any problems at all we're not going to need to fertilize this field with the grass having been cut that leaves one layer and then you only need to do one more and we've got that on board the seed drill so we don't need to worry at all about doing any fertilizer this particular time round which is absolutely brilliant. Now, how close to the stone are you going to get? We're now sort of coming right up to where the stone is. You do most of it, but again, you're doing this whole weird bit where you leave a tiny piece behind. And we know that the game does this. This is an infuriating little thing that the game does, where it just leaves these tiny spots. Even if it's not, like, it's, it's not much of a try. It's, it's almost dead level there. But it's still, it stops just a tiny bit too early. And it does it every time. And it is absolutely, for, for me personally, it is absolutely infuriating. It really does irritate me. Um, probably more than it should. But, um, yeah, I, mean, I, I don't get it. Why, why is it set so that it stops just a little bit too soon? I don't, I don't get that. I really, really don't get that. I mean, ordinarily, it's it's not really much of an issue. But there are times, like, when you're doing grass or, like, at the moment, I'd like this to sort of look particularly good. And those little tiny bits that get left behind, the tiny little, like, it, 
they're just enough to show up. They're just enough to be noticed, especially when you've got all this lime on the ground. That makes it show up even more, and it makes the whole field look untidy, doesn't it? Like, if you're cultivating in real life, you're not going to very, very carefully stop just a few centimetres short of where you've actually covered all of the ground, are you? You're going you're gonna to pick up just a few centimetres after if you're going to be that precise with it. You're certainly not going to leave little tiny spots all over the field carefully uncultivated because one, if it's your own land, you put probably a bit more pride in it than that and, and you know, in, in doing your own work. But if, if it's someone else's land, they're not going to be pleased with you. Like, I've never met a farmer yet that uh, wouldn't get particularly irate and annoyed with you for making a, a bit of a pig's ear of a job like that. Now, I want to stop here, and actually, it would have been better if we had been following it on the last pass, because that is pretty much where we wanted to be. I'm going to bring it up a bit. I said I could go up to about there, so if I go here, it should now go all the way across the field... And then it should come back again, and it should actually go right down to the other end as well. Yeah, it's easily going across the field on this bit. Right, it's, it really does struggle with it though, doesn't it? That's a genuine struggle to get going with all of that. But it's doing it. It is actually doing it. It's getting across the field. It's doing the planting. We have got corn being planted across all of this field. We have got a little bit of straw left to bale down there, and then we'll be able to pick those bales up in our next episode. That'll be next week. Um, so we can finish the baling, we can pick up the straw, and then we need to get lime spread on that field, and we need to get planting in there as well. These two tractors will probably still be busy up here, so we'll be doing all of that with the case down there. I don't think it's going to take too long. Uh, both of these are progressing at a fairly good rate. We've got some reasonable sized machines working the field now. And with three tractors as well, it's not like we're going to be hanging about with any of it. Anyway, we have run out of time now. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to go and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye. And see you later.